morning everyone and welcome back to the channel so this week will be similar to last week i'm just going to do a little update throughout the the week um, based on what's happened in the room i am still trying to sort of play through my accounts and get up to date but i'm nearly finished with that i'm hoping this week to get some tam tanks emptied some shrimps moved and um sort of concentrate on trying to empty one of the racks and move that across so it's sort of flush with the wall um, instead of coming out at 90 degrees so it's a lot of work that is um, and I don't know I need help to move the tanks because I can't lift them on my own with my back um, sitting down catching shrimps hard enough so I think the plans are I'm currently doing maintenance so I'm just doing RO top ups with pure RO water at the moment on a few of the tanks because of evaporation and then I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll use the opportunity as I move them to do some big water changes on them as well. So, so again, that sort of, I've got to get the water temperature in the room and stuff um, before I can do them. So it's just going to take time. I'm just going to play through it, get as much of that done as I can. <clears throat> I've currently just had a delivery uh, and, and I'll sort of go through that with you guys. I know what it is, but I'll sort of open that and explain what that is. It's to do with the it's sort of partly to do with the dark frogs partly to do with the isopods but uh, a mixture of both actually so i'm just going to flip the camera show you what the plans are so as i say i'm currently topping up the these tanks on the rack that sort of comes out at an angle um i am finding the racks on the left quite difficult I'm definitely going to drop a couple of tanks. I think I'm going to lose a couple of tanks just to make life a little bit easier for myself. But mainly the plan is that what I want to do is I want to move these fancy tigers over into one of these master saw tanks over here that's full of algae. I might give it a bit of a clean before we do that, but I might not because these are quite voracious. I do want to move the smaller tank there and the smaller tank there up into that space. Um, but but I've got to find, I think I'll put these in the loft, but the one on the left, the um, the tank that we were going to use for frogs, I need to find somewhere to temporarily house that. So the other shrimp that I'm going to move, I'm going to move these. Um, they are doing okay, to be honest, but I just need to move and reset the tank. So those will go onto the end tank there. And then <clears throat> what I need to do is... I, I, I've got this tank to move and this tank to move and then all that leaves me is this tank that's been cycling and my mixed tank so I'm going to sell my mixed colony I think um, for now and just, just sort of get rid of that I'll probably advertise that cheap on the website um, I'd prefer that to be collected if somebody somebody's up for collecting that I don't really want to post all of that in one go and then the plan will be we'll move I might drop I might actually drop one of the neo tanks but I'm going to move that neo tank over to here I'm going to move that neo tank over to here <coughs> I'll adjust the shelves a little bit and then I'm going to move one two three four across and the tank that's up on the top there is um, some low to medium grade ones of these and I may call some of these into that tank and once I once I've done that, that colony will be for sale as well. And there's quite a lot there, and I'll do them cheap if anyone's interested. Um, they'd normally go for sort of three ninety five, four ninety five a shrimp. Um, I'll probably just put a, a bulk figure on the lot, but again, I prefer collection. And then once I've done that, I can move this round so it's sort of flush with the wall. I'm going to actually bring it all out level, I think. Um, make it all nice and sort of just one one you know coming out on one level um just simply because it's my mobility is difficult so it's hard for me to sort of move around and get around the room and likewise uh, less tanks is less work so i'm currently in the process while i'm doing these top-ups of ro of spraying the dark frog aquarium so at the moment i'm seeing I'm normally sitting around here somewhere. They'll come out if I spray. Don't know why they've gone hiding. Because they are normally out. So they're probably hidden because I've heard them. Oh, there's one. There's one there. Look, just chilling out. Little fatty. 
So as I say, I'm, I'm, I spray these daily, um, and what I'm using at the moment is either these little hair sprayers, or I bought this this sprayer here. So this is uh, an Exoterra Mister, and um, I'd give that a zero out of five stars. Um, it does spray, but it doesn't hold pressure. And what happens is, if you leave it sitting, all the water ends up coming up and out the top of the pressure that you've pumped in. So it's literally a case of having to um, pump it up, spray it when you need it, release the pressure to store it, which is a pain. I, I was going to buy a different one, but I've decided I'm just going to wait, save my pennies, and I'm going to buy an automatic misting system. Um, I have got another tank, another frog tank that I'm going to set up. Um, so I'm just going to have the two. I'm not going to go any further than that. And then the idea will be that I'll just set the mister system up on both, set it on a timer, you know, five minutes in, or a couple of minutes in the morning, a couple of minutes in the evening, just to maintain humidity and um, job done. I am using pure RO, so I'm not getting watermarks and stuff, but um, that, that's sort of it at the moment. So I do have some um, Amano left, but I can potentially, uh, if I don't sell them before, I'll move them into one of the house tanks, the escape that we did. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on that, actually, because that's doing okay. I have had to treat a bit of BBA in there, but just, just busy. Just really busy. Um, my pods are doing okay. I do want to get some different pods in, um, you know, and sort of go through through the week. But that's just a bit of a start to the week. So hopefully we can get a bit done and and sort of show you guys that process and show show you it once it's moved. And I say there's a couple of tanks in here that need resetting, so I'll use that opportunity to sort of do that. The hard bit's going to be catching all the shrimp. Um, draining and then moving them I can drain them, my nipper can move them job done you know so I'll sign off for now um, I've got a parcel to open and I'll video that and explain that and then we'll sort of pick up later in the week So just giving that a bit of a misting, I'll do the same a bit later if the humidity drops so it sort of keeps the humidity overnight. And the idea is that what should happen is a frog, there's a saying, wet back dry feet. So we don't want to wet it too much that the substrate stays soaking all day long. So by sort of midday I expect all the leaf litter down here to be dry. So dry, you know, wet back dry dry foot. Um, we've got a froggy up there, look. He likes perching up on that pod. And then sometimes you get them where they run up the back here and sit in that little gap there. But they're quite, again used to me, they're quite brave, you know, they're starting to sort of pick up a bit and get, get used to me. They do sort of hop away when I put stuff in, but um, they soon come back out. So I'm having to record this after the event because I lost all my audio. But we're, um, we're going to open this parcel. Um, we think we know what it is because we are expecting something. A bit of product placement there in the background. And I've spent most of yesterday trying to rebuild the website. I had a problem with the, the theme that goes over the top of the website and none of my products were showing from the menus. They were if you could search for them, but you couldn't find them at all. If they were on the on the menus so nice new look fresh feel to it search bar at the top you do have links to our social media platforms and then in the from a menu perspective we've literally got three options so we've got obviously our home page but from our menus we've got shop 
with all the, the options and you can sort of select from that menu we've then got a basket and we've also got everything else so if you search for a section there's now a sidebar that gives you shortcuts to each section it's slightly different on mobile and then in the everything else you've got our policies and various other bits and pieces so i hope you enjoy the new website it is uh, i'm quite pleased how quick it loads and stuff and obviously we've got our review section in the everything else so when you purchase from us about five days later you should get an email from us asking if you want a review and that's reviewing products and shop and what will happen if you place a review we then send you an email with a a discount voucher it's valid for 60 days it was originally five percent then seven percent and because obviously you guys are helping me I decided to put that up to 10%. So if you leave a review, you get a 10% discount voucher that's valid for 30 days. Don't forget to put that in on your next purchase. And I hope you guys like the website. Now we've changed it. So another thing to talk about then with this parcel is that um, I think I know what it is. But I... One of my friends, Rob, mentioned that when I was opening parcels on videos before, that I was cutting towards myself, which is obviously bad practice from a health and safety perspective. So thanks, Rob. Totally agree with that. And what I'll do is I'll cut this away from myself. So let's get this, let's get this cut. And what we'll do is we'll get this open. So it wasn't what I was expecting, so we're potentially going to get another opening box opening this week. It was a thermostat for my terrarium. A um, bit of a strange one because I don't remember buying this. So I'll investigate this, we'll have a look, see where I might have bought this. So let's pick back up on that then. So um, it's a bit of a mystery. I definitely haven't bought one, although... I was definitely in the market for one and I was I think I put stuff in my basket and I had I definitely haven't purchased it I've searched my own personal PayPal account I've searched my own bank accounts I've searched my business PayPal I've searched my business account I've searched my credit card and I can't find that purchase anywhere so if anyone can shed any light on that it would be good now what's interesting is it's from pets to wholesale and i can't find them either um I'll, I'll keep searching but it's it's just a shock because i haven't had any payments to that so and, and ironically the name spelt wrong so if i'd have filled in an online form my name wouldn't have been spelt my name's glenn and it wouldn't have been spelt with two ends so it is so if somebody sent me that a massive thank you and just get in touch and i'll give you guys a shout out if you have but um 100% I definitely haven't purchased this or I can't find any payment for it. I've searched emails, various email accounts for that, that name and just can't find that anywhere. So, mystery. So, picking back up on that and it's took me some time, I've managed to find this company. So, Pets to Wholesale. Um, I'm not sure if this is a freebie sent to me by these wholesalers um, who are rapidly growing to the reptile and pet market and aquatic or if i've bought it elsewhere and i just can't find the invoice or anything um, i can't see a payment anywhere for this product at all i just cannot see a payment for any i've searched high and low for this it might appear but uh, I'll give them a shout out anyway. So they are called Pets to Wholesale. Um, that's where that's come from. But as I say, I'm not sure if they sort of transship from elsewhere. But um, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll update you guys as I know. But it looks like it could be a gift. Um, there's no paperwork in there. There's nothing in... Well, I don't think there is. It was packed with um, the little... 
no not noodles you know the little foam nugget things uh can't find any paperwork in there at all can't find anything on any of my email accounts so a bit of a strange one but uh if it is a freebie thank you very much it is much appreciated i'll make sure i include that in my next dark frog build thank you so a little continuation from yesterday's video still haven't worked out where that microclimate mini stats come from um just puzzled I, I definitely was going to buy one i can't remember buying it and everywhere i've searched there's no payment information which is just bizarre but i did get the parcel that i thought i was going to get so it's this one uh, i have opened it sort of just to make sure it was the one i thought it was and i haven't really sort of unpacked it but um let's do that now so let's get rid of these little nuggets and let's pull this out right i'm just going to put the camera down a second because it is packed well bear with me okay so um dwarf white isopods and the reason i've got these is i'm going to put half of them in the frog terrarium and half of them in a culture that i've got of these just because i'm the frogs will eat some of these but but i don't think my culture is big enough in the frog terrarium so they're called dwarf white isopods they are tiny um, and sort of give you a comparison to how small they are you know they're probably two mil long one you know a mil wide two and a half mil long um, they are really small another thing that i've done in the isopod tubs we get you get what are called fungus gnats so i've done a couple of things um i bought some of these sort of yellow um like fly traps uh, sticky fly traps they're like butterflies or or hearts or whatever shape they are there's a couple of different types and the gnats get attracted to yellow so i put a couple in my plants so there's one here in this and you can see there's a couple of gnats already on that in addition to those i bought a bug zapper so this came today just from off amazon um, the lead's quite short on it but i plugged it in here just temporarily and left it on to see see how it would go um, i probably will end up cutting the wire and moving it I think I'm going to move it and hang it up there uh, a little bit higher. But um, it, I say it was sitting there. I was working away on the laptop and um, <laughs> something hit it and it gave such a, a buzz, um, like, <laughs> you know, um, nearly jumped out my skin. So I'll get that moved as well. It's just another addition to the room. And I have started as well while we're talking about stuff happening in the room. So I'm always a mess in here while I'm messing. But uh, I have started moving um, my fancy tigers over. So we're up to 106 at the moment. And I can still see at least two, three in there. And I know there's a big one down the side. So they've moved over to here. Um, they're absolutely killing the algae in there, just munching away on it. And I've moved all their decor over too. So that's sort of part one of the job the next part of the job is to move these my blues uh, i think i'm going to drop the hooker moss in a bucket um, with some water and then sort of drip them over on those the others i just did a, a plop and drop um, the parameters are pretty similar i've made a decision i'm going to strip down and reset this tank with the um, few pbl in there uh, and i'm going to move those onto this tank i'll give this tank a clean i've got three or four ghost bee in there but i think i'm going to put the ghost bee into the mix tank i have put some special offers on the website of, of these by the way the mixed and um, i've also done it on the other fancy tigers so if anyone's after a bit of a bargain just go up there and, and have a nose so they're on offer at the moment and i've been chatting to somebody this morning about my prl not really doing great um and i'm going to try something that they've suggested to see if we can get these guys moving and breeding and 
and stuff but um, I'll give that a try and if it's successful I'll let you know what I did in a future video so for now I'll sign off again uh, I'm still interested in where the microclimate come from but we are getting stuff done which is the the sort of primary bit and I think once I've got this rack filled I am going to case it in um, I've got an idea on what I'm going to use to do it as well so um, cheap and cheerful I think it's going to be black but I haven't 100% made my mind up yet but I'll give that a whirl we'll get this sort of done and in place and um, I think once it's all sort of encased and and black blacked out I think it'll look really nice or, or, or even whited out if I can get something white uh, I think it'll look really nice I might end up painting the rack as well so if I do do it black I might paint the the, you know the the upstands black as well or the bits that you can't see black but i haven't decided yet but i am going to box it in so and then that's completion on that side i just need to move a few things around um use the bottom bits of these for storage um which is sort of in short supply a bit of storage in this room and uh go from there productive day so we've got all the fancy tigers out i had a couple of uh, look at the algae in that tank i'm gonna strip it i had a couple of um red steels in there and i moved them into the mix tank and one of them was buried so if anyone wants to buy a colony of mix let me know <clears throat> and we'll we'll come to an arrangement i've emptied this tank as well and i've moved all the pure black line there's only a few in there this tank's empty and cycling. I do need to drain that off. <clears throat> and then tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to get the blues moved. And what that will do, apart from the mix tank, that will give me an empty rack, realistically. I'm going to move the dart frog off temporarily, and I'll put it over on by the sink. But the PBL have been moved into this tank, and they're currently hiding. So I did give the front glass a clean, or um, hanging all over the place. But uh, I'll move those over, a bit of a plop and drop, let's see how those go. But the, the fancies are really making a feast of that algae. They'll have that done in a couple of days, completely clear. Um, moved quite a bit, to be fair. So hopefully tomorrow, if I can get those blues moved over into the end tank on the other rack, then theoretically I can, that tank's ready for reset, that tank's ready for reset, that tank's ready for reset, that tank's ready for reset. And what I'll probably do is empty them all out and probably store them in the car for now. Um, I might put filters in buckets with airlines just to keep the filters going, but I'm not too bothered about that if I'm brutally honest. Uh, I might just sort of store them and reuse them when I'm ready. But uh, what that will then give me the ability to do is they're really hard to move these. Like really hard to move. And what I'm going to have to do is get a bin full of water. Once I've got this, these shelves emptied, what I'm going to have to do is take each tank out, um, each shelf out, because I can't get two of those in onto this tank with the shelf above it in. So it's a bit of a pain, and I should have thought about this, but the way I've got the electrics, I've set the electrics up not to disconnect them. I can take the lights off, so the lights do clip off, and that sort of gives me a bit of a bonus, but I've got to strip down. I've probably got to strip down. I'm, I may get away with this, but I've got to strip down all the top-up feeds, and I think I'll get away with the bottom one. I might be able to use that, but I have to sort of re-plumb all that. But uh, literally what I've got to do is empty this out, take that shelf out, take that shelf out, empty the top two, move those down onto this rack, put the next shelf in where I want it, and it's going to be lower than it is at the moment, then move another two over and do the same process. So it's, it's, it's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to get that, that done. As I say, the things that are really stopping me is I've got a mixed tank that I want to get rid of for now, I've got a tank full of low to medium grade fancy tigers that I want to get rid of for now. 
So again, I've mentioned it a few minutes ago, but if anyone's interested, let's you know make me an offer. See see what happens. Um, don't come up with a stupid offer, but make me a sensible offer, and um, and we'll sort something out. I'd prefer them to be picked up rather than shipped, but it, I can ship them if need be at, at cost with um, whatever. And I'll keep an eye on the weather because I, I don't like to send them too cold. So if it's sort of five five or below i probably won't send them but uh, i do need to put them somewhere temporarily if that's the case so yeah just just busy um just really busy and it's never ending because once i've actually got that rack where i want that rack sort of flush with the wall that way instead of that way i've got to empty another rack that's behind that strip all that down find somewhere for that stuff to go temporarily but we have got an idea of where we can put that in the house um keep getting moaned at that, that there's junk everywhere but if i if i do this right I, I, I should be able to sort of manage it and i've got storage underneath that rack as well and i'm probably not going to have the shelf on that as low i'm probably going to raise that up to this sort of height which will give me that level of storage underneath that set of tanks um i've got loads of plastic tubs there with stuff in so it'd be ideal to store those under the tank because if it was a leak they're not going to ruin the stuff that's inside them and then they're out of the way but what i'm really looking forward to if i'm honest is to having the room this wide all the way down because of my mobility that's going to make my life so much easier and help you know help me to keep keep it clean and i'll probably get a big carpet runner down here or something the um rubber you know one of these rubber back type things but we'll uh, we'll push on anyway i'm gonna drop another bit of video in after this with the an update on the the, the house tank one of the house tanks the uh the scape that we did the iwagumi dragonstone so i'll drop that bit of video in on the race over the top of that because there's all house noise going on when i recorded that and then we'll see where we get to before I need to sort of finish the video and put it out for you guys the weekend. Speak soon. Thought I'd drop in a little bit of an update on the Iwagumi scape. So we've battled a bit of blackbeard algae. Pipes need cleaning. I've adjusted the CO2. Eventually I want to take that out. So this side's pretty clear of BBA. The other side not so. So I do need to sort of have a go and give that a clean and treat that as well. Hopefully it will sort of stay gone. I say pipe work needs cleaning. The carpeting plant's grown in really well, apart from the BBA. Fish are doing really well. Now, you may notice behind that rock there, a little urn. Now, we've got the epistogrammas in there, and they've spawned and got fry a couple of times, but I've not managed to get them past that. So, hopefully, when I've redone one of the racks in the garage, I'm going to set up a little epistogramma breeding tank in there and see if we can sort of get the fry and raise the fry properly. And then if we can get them raised, we'll put them up for sale or we'll drop them, you know, drop them back in here or or whatever we do. But uh, it's doing really well. I'm going to wrap that up there. I think 30 minutes or the best part of 30 minutes is enough of my voice for anyone. So if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, hit the like button. We, we've got loads of content left to come. What I've started in this video you'll see come to completion over the next few weeks and i know it's sort of sunday at 6 6 30 but what's left of your weekend you know have fun enjoy it keep on shrimping and i'll catch you all next time